Well, here we are. We're back on this project. Um, if you have a look over there, you can see where we are now. Um, done the brickwork around the gate yesterday, the blues, and uh, I gave it a good sponge off as I went. I cleaned the tops of the bricks off, but we can give that another another clean. I was a little bit disappointed with the um, the intensity in the colour of, of those blues, but they are uh, the Wienerberger or uh, Wienerberger group, so they're good bricks. It's just They just didn't look... You know, they just looked a little bit lighter, but there you go. Um, you don't know what these people are doing. So here we are now. This is, um, let's go with, I hate the light here. There you are. So there's the decked area. So there's the raised, the raised bed, the planting pocket over there. Small planting pocket. And behind there, we're going to build a, a wooden wall, okay? Uh, and with a log store behind it, it's going to double up as a log store. So that's where we are. Over here, you can just see where we started doing the cuts here for the picture frame around the decking you can see down there have a look just started doing the mitres on there got a couple more to do we have got some cut over there and uh, we're gonna have to stick those on later on so the choice is whether we get on with the log store first and stick these down but i think i'd rather get on with the log store first and stick these down as i just said if that makes any sense at all so um there he is getting his timber out now no. If he's in a good mood today, we'll find out as we go along. Right, let's get on with it. Well, what I wanted to show you, the, the, the ground level, you can see it starts to come up this side a little bit because, as I said, on this part of the garden, there is bedrock underneath here and uh, it take an awful lot of uh, digging out. It's about three inches higher on this side as opposed to over there, so it's not too bad. Um... But as we come round the back here, um, we've got the concrete in for this log store. We want to set it underneath it because I put a log store in before and it does move. They, they do have a little bit of weight, but not a lot. But the dis decision is now is where how far we bring this, whether we come up to here or just here, um, is the decision. Whether we come up to just underneath the soffit or whether we come up to here, I'm not quite sure because we'd have to cut round. I I tend to think that we'd come up to this bit because it's just a backdrop more than anything. Um, but I'm going to be speaking to the customer this morning and see what they say and get some feedback off them. Because they, they've got to have the veto to say yay or nay, basically. So it's whether we come up to there or not. There was a fence there before. Uh, you can see where the Aris rails went in on there. That's where the original fence line was. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Right, okay, so what we're doing here, we're cutting a uh, housing joint uh, out of here because we want the timbers to sit inside. We just don't want to rely on nails or screws, whatever. So the, uh, the, the timber's going to sit directly inside here. So the, the downward pressure is going against here all the way through as opposed to screwing a piece of timber on here. It's uh, getting to the joining part of things now. And uh, so what we've got to do, we've got to line up this. These, these are legs now, okay? So we've got to line up these now and uh we're cutting these with basically with the chop saw just run it down don't necessarily need a chisel with this it's for a log store it's probably overkill with some people but you know hey oh there you go uh what do you reckon jack yeah it's gonna look good going well jack's in a real tuesday. good move for tuesday yeah do you like doing this like timber work now is it yeah. make a change yeah i, I was like thinking last week at the moment only. what a lot of patio and porcelain yeah but i was thinking last night you know this job we're doing is when you do the digs it's a bit of a it's not a pain it's got, i like digging as well in some respects but if you get the machine in and strip it out quickly it's not so bad is it no it's much better or you know using automation to get things around like but you know we're coming across here pretty fast now you know when we look at that jack we've got a little brick edge to define the planter and put those picture frame round, but basically that area there is ready for, well, it's not ready for turfing, but we fill it with some topsoil, loosen that substrate at first and level that off, put some nice topsoil on the top, and then it's ready for, for... we're not far away, are we? No. No, we're not far away. Yeah, but w we were saying this morning that we've got another job to go to, but we're going to have to inform our client that, that we're running behind a bit. And we're behind because weather. Weather. Deliveries, trying to get material in it, and, and to be fair, I'm not going to lie, we haven't struggled for material so much with this job. 
Well, the, the decking we had to wait for, didn't we? Yeah. That 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 took a while to come in. So that's why I I suppose I slowed up a little bit because we were just waiting for the the decking to come in. Screws um, more than anything. Screws. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that's right. So what Jack's saying is that we were waiting for. With the camo gun, you've got, you've got to use their screws, and that's how they've done it. They've, they've created a tool, and oh, that's that's business, and that's what actually happened. So we can't use... Um, we, we're waiting for the screws for that. So, yeah, we are a, a little bit behind, but I'd rather get the job done properly, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But when you think of this area here now, this is like 70% of, of the area, and the rest of it's going to be turf. We've got a fence to to put on the post jack's got the post in on here you can just see the post underneath there all the way down through that beach edge and he's done a good job on that that was a difficult job i made sure that i was in the air for that job um but i think we're all right and it's great to do these videos because you can just look after at it and just start recycling and having a look seeing where you are so anyway, enough of the talking jack let's go on there there we are we've cut from one side it saves us using a chisel it's only for a log store and then what we do we turn it around this side and we'll take this out now there we go there's one and there's the other one there we've got another two to go uh let's have a look Well, are, this is the frame for the Euro. We're going to have Euro cladding on this side, and I've put a, a shelf in the middle. We're going to have to put Jack on here. We're going to have to put an upright to stop it sagging. And what we, what the customer's able to do is just put his logs on here, and um, they're not going to fall out. So he's going to get a fair bit of logs in there. You know, it's just somewhere, a little storage area that was just going to be a, a cladding wall, but we could just double up. So. We've got some legs underneath there. We're gonna have to cut another leg jack in the middle, another 100 mil to go center there. And then we'll put one through there. Well, here we go. Client wanted a little bit more height. So we've had to add that on. That's absolutely fine. There's no problem at all. Now we're gonna clad right down that face. But first of all, we're gonna put a membrane on. Well, you can see my pretty face now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring Jack in on this now, and uh, we're gonna show you. Jack, come and have a look at this. Just come in, in shot over here, because I want you to be part of this. Jack, earlier on, we was building this log store cladding face as a backdrop to this decking. Now we've, look, look at my hands. Look, we've put some Rubio, and remember this, there's no carcinogenics in this Rubio uh, cream. What's that look like, Jack? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's modern, it's contemporary, and um, a bit of privacy as well. yeah, massively. And we we put the membrane behind, didn't we? Yeah, and you've also got somewhere a little bit of storage here, long. Yeah, we we had it up underneath the soffit before, and the customer wanted it that little bit higher, didn't he? Yeah. Can you explain, Jack, about we've done the mitre on the frame around the top, haven't we? Yeah. 
but we haven't done the mitre or the picture frame to the front because it's just too long isn't it yeah. same as this yeah we didn't do it on there because it, it, uh, it just makes it too long it's too long and, and it, the shrinkage is, yeah, is don't know we've got the basket the boards are not exactly perfect so when you cut them, you don't know it's not like the porcelain is it no and uh, but we've we've just gone over that now with some Rubio uh, Monaco cream, and um, but we've we've run short a couple. We've got three lengths now, isn't it? That we have to put in. Yeah. So um, do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Do you know the biggest question that people get asked? I get asked of customers, would I have it in my garden? So the question is to you, would yeah. you have it in your garden? Yeah. 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 Thank you, Jack. No I'll go back to Mexico now. There you go. I've just come over to this part of the garden now to do some cutting because we've got to go around the edge. But seriously, I've I've put some I've cleaned that uh, Rubio. That I can just can't get on it. But look, the point I'm trying to make is the clad looks absolutely fantastic. I'm just really pleased with it. Just uh, just gone over it with it uh, a touch up. With the cloth and just touch it up where we've got it a little bit dirty and it just looks stunning um i'm never sure of the gaps on it uh, but it comes with this camo gun and you could uh because you, you secret fix with a camo gun and you use their screws and that's the gap that you've got you've got to work to that spacer but it just looks amazing it really does it looks absolutely spot on over the moon with it really We are, we're just about to go home. It's the end of the day. You can see that it's coming together now and uh, the cladding looks absolutely fantastic. It's, a, it's such a shame that we were a couple short, but there you go. That's not a problem. I've given it a bit of a wash along this edge now. You can see where we've taken the picture frame around this part and also around the edge of the deck. And uh, it's coming on. I'm pleased with it.